Hello everyone, this is a video on refraction and reflection by Rose Thompson and Anna Abraham. So when we're talking about light, the first thing we want to focus on is reflection. Okay, reflection is bouncing back of light rays from shiny surfaces. For example, a mirror is an example of reflection. The light bounces off of the shiny surface and then it comes back into your eye and you can see yourself. Examples of reflection, metal spoon, metal chair legs, mirrors when the TV's off, metal watches, foil paper. Refraction is when the bending of light occurs. For example, a prism, a straw and a cup of water and a lens of all examples of refractions. You can see the picture of the straw looking like it's bent. You can see the light bending as it goes through the prism. The difference between reflection and refraction is often reflection is the bouncing of light. Metal spoons reflect light. The light bounces back from the material. Refraction is bending of light in different angles. For example, when you put a straw in a cup and you see the refracted light. Examples of refraction, prisms, straws in a cup, lenses, microscopes, telescopes, eyeglasses. Thank you. So, Whenever you're dealing with refraction, you always have two different types of mediums, okay? And that is represented by the letter N. N stands for the index of refraction. And the index of refraction is just how thick the medium that the light is traveling in, okay? So an example of an index of refraction or index. All right, so if we look at a picture of a refraction table, we can see that different, different things have different indexes. So air, air has an index of one. Uh, diamond has an index of 2.4. Glass has an index of 1.6. So all of these indexes are categorized by the letter N. Okay, so when we look at the first question, it says, for drawing to the right, find the index two. Okay, so index two is gonna be this one here. All right, so with this index, we're trying to figure out what is the second index if they give me an index of 1.5 coming in, incident angle is 45, and the refracted angle is 65. So we're gonna pull out our simulator and put in those quantities. So. What was the angle of the incident angle? It was around 45 degrees. All right, and the index is 1.5. And what is the angle that's coming out? So we want to figure out what is the refracted angle here. So if we figure that out, then we can figure out what that index is. And we can do that just by changing the index. So you want 65. So the closest index of that is 1.8. So the answer for number one is 1.8. For the drawing below, state whether the first index is bigger than the second index. The index second is bigger than the first index or are they equal? So let's start off with C. So we see that the incident angle is coming straight down and the refracted angle is also coming straight down. So if we were to make our indexes maybe the same, so let's say they're both one, you can see that they come straight down and the refracted and the reflected angle are both the same. So then therefore, C would be N1 and N2 is equal. 
here you see that when the incident angle comes in, it gets refracted more. So is that where N1 is bigger than N2 or N2 is bigger than N1? So let's try N1 being smaller than N2. So if I make that bigger, you can see that my refracted angle is a lot smaller. So B for that one is gonna be N1 is bigger than N2. You can see that actually no, N2 is bigger than N1. And then A will be N1 is bigger than N2. Good. All right, so they give us an index table and they want us to figure out the angle based off of the index is given. So looking at this here, number one, we're gonna just write what we know. You're gonna have the equation, the plug and chug, and the answer. All right, so in this question it says, a ray of light traveling from air into a crown, so crown glass. Crown glass has an index of 1.5. So I'm gonna write N1 for crown is 1.5. Crown glass strikes the surface at an angle of 30 degrees. So the incident angle, the angle that is coming in right here is 30 degrees. So incident one is gonna be 30 degrees or theta one is gonna be 30 degrees. What will the angle of refraction be? Okay, so it's going from crown glass, excuse me, the ray is traveling from air to crown glass. So you would actually, this would be N2, and N1 would be air. So we wanna figure out the refracted angle. All right, so we can use the equation or we can use just the simulator. So we're gonna use the simulator and put in our knowns. So my N2, my N1 is one, my N2 is 1.2. No, my N2 is 1.5, excuse me. All right, and my angle of incident was 30 degrees. So that gives me a, it's like 30. So that gives me a, refracted angle of 19.2 degrees. So for number one, the, the 19.2 degrees, all right? Let's do another example. Number two, light traveling through air encounters a second medium which slows the light to 2.7 uh, 2 .2 times 10 to the eight meters per second. What is the index of the second medium? All right, so for this problem, we actually, so for number two, yeah, so for number two, light traveling through air, so we wanna figure out the equation as it relates to velocity. Actually, for those problems, you don't have to do number two or three, so don't worry about that. Let's do number four. What is the index for refraction of the refraction medium if the angle of incident is 30 degrees and the angle of refraction is 13 degrees? All right, so it says, what is the index of refraction of refracted medium if the angle of incidence is in air and is 30 degrees and 15 degrees? So for this problem, for number four, they give us uh, index of refraction of air, so that's one. The incident angle and the refracted angle so it says that in striking water is 30 degrees so the one coming in 
is 30 degrees and the one coming out is 15 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in the simulator. So I have an index of air is one. My angle of coming in is 30 degrees and my angle coming out is 15 degrees. So I wanna move it until I get to 15. So that index is 1.9. All right, so for this, I just want you to do numbers one, numbers four, number eight. So do number eight. So you really just have to do three problems. 